Hi, Misty K, the book fix here. And um, I did figure out mostly how to keep the reflection off my glasses, so yay, get to wear my glasses again. Uh, today, my review is Rags and Bones, which is a short story collection. Um, it's edited by Melissa Marr and Tim Pratt. Um, who I had not heard of Tim Pratt before, but I had heard of Melissa Marr, and I did enjoy her uh, Wicked Lovely, her book Wicked Lovely. Um, it wasn't my favorite thing, but it was good. I liked it. Um, so, usually in any short story collection, there are stories you love. Well, if they're multiple authors, anyway. There are stories you love. There's a story or two that you feel sort of indifferent about, and there's a story or two that you really just don't like very much. Um, I don't think there were any that I just didn't like in here. Uh, I will say um, Carrie Ryan's, Carrie Ryan's um, story, That the Machine May Progress Eternally, um, it was kind of tedious at times, but I think that was on purpose. It was it was meant to enforce the feeling of the main character of the story. So that was that's actually very cool. Um and not really surprising to me, um we have Neil Gaiman in here um and Holly Black and I love both of them and both of their stories were amazing. I mean I just like their style, so that's just how it is. I'm always going to like their stories, probably. I mean, there might be an odd one that I don't, but haven't run across them yet. And I think my absolute favorite story was, uh, what was it called again? It was When First We Were Gods by Rick Yancey. Um, it is amazing. But then everything of Rick Yancey's that I've read has been amazing. Um, I still haven't gotten to his um, Alfred Kropp series. Um, I I keep meaning to and I haven't gotten there yet. Um, and I still haven't read the last book of The Monstromologist because I'm saving it. Because I know that I'm going to love it and I don't want the series to be over. But everything of his that I've read, I've loved so much. Um, he's just a very, very talented author who is really good at... Um, describing things in sort of a slant-wise way so you don't feel like you're just reading a whole bunch of info dumping and really 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 good at showing and not telling uh, I mean the complicated crazy relationship um, between um, Dr. Warthrop and Will Henry in The Monstromologist is so good I like ah uh, I can't, there are no words, because he just shows you, and you don't have to talk about it, because it's just there. Anyway, um, and the other thing that is really interesting about this book, and kind of strange, is they have six illustrations by Charles Beck. Now, I love Charles Beck, and if you're not familiar with him, I'm going to show, hopefully this shows up really well, um, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. And I love him. But I think it's a little strange, a little weird, that they chose to have him just illustrate things that he wanted to, like, they were just stories that he liked, and they weren't any of the stories that were written in words in the book. So it's just like a scene from a random story that Charles Vest likes. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Anyway, overall, a very good collection. And I really, really can't recommend Ricky and C story enough.